Hey there, folks, it's Officer Joe Swanson, and welcome back to another episode of Until Dawn. Let's jump right back on into here. It's nice, it gives us a little recap of what happened last time. Because, uh, I'll be honest, for the life of me, I can't remember jack shit. Oh, come on, she deserves this. Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, man. Yeah, it was just a prank, bro. It's cool. You'll be a little bitch about it. You'll be fine. Oh, damn. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back. To the I feel like we've been through all this already. I really want to Do they recap the entire thing each episode? This hated band at the air is fine as hell. Have I mentioned that before? Okay, yeah, this stuff is new. Okay, I remember this. And next to Josh, this is how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, name dropping the mechanic. I get it. All right. We're playing as Chris. Who are you? Are you Ashley? I feel like you're Ashley. Can I talk to you? I cannot. All right, then. We tried. She'll just have to go wanting. I forget which button it was to... Move a little bit faster. That's not it. I think it's L1. I forget how to turn on the flashlight. That, that's not it. I forget. It's been so long since I've played this game. It's, uh, kind of uh, embarrassing that I don't remember how to do things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure L1 is... He's not walking much faster than that. Ashley was pretty hot today, right? Yeah, she was. Sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Something's off about this guy. Something's really off. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? Yeah, something is really off about this Josh fella. He rubs me the wrong way. Something doesn't add up. Beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now you come in for the kill. Okay. We're gonna bone her. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, you won't even know what's hidden. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Weirdo. All right. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bro? Through the window, most likely. That's yeah, where burglars typically uh, go. And uh, you better deliver it, though, too, sure. all you perpetrators, take note. This is how you break into a house. Now, as a police officer, I, of course, don't condone this, but uh, if you, uh, for whatever reason, get locked out of your own house, this is probably what you should do. That was an axe holder. I found a clue. That's pretty nice. All right. What's this here? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. All right. Going to move this over here. Once again, I do not condone what I'm about to do here, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. If you ever lock yourself out of your own house, make sure you call your local police department so they don't freak out about someone breaking into a home. How did you manage to do that? There was not that big of a drop. You're a dumbass. Jim? Jim? Yeah, that. Up the rope. Oh, Whoa. that's fantastic. I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Oh, it's a lighter. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah. What's that? Totally. Ooh, wait, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. That with the lighter. 
I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Flamethrower. Yeah, I do not condone what I'm about to do. Yeah, I, I am not. not big, yeah, something's off about that Josh guy. Something tells me he's going to be our killer. Because he doesn't seem like he's wrapped too tight. See, as a cop, it's my, uh, it's my job to be looking through this game and finding uh, the different... Uh... Oh, shit. Finding, uh, you know, different clues and whatnot. Something doesn't add up. What the fuck was that? Hello? Uh, let's see. Not sure. I'll go down there in a sec. What's over here? Yeah, there seems to be stairs there, so let's let's go check out this place first. There's nothing. Up oh, there's something. We found something. Where are you? Where are you, pal? Oh, it's another clue. What is it here? Neat. All right. Let's head on out of here. Go up those stairs. My old arch nemesis. First step. No, oh, there weren't stairs. That's good. That is very good for me. Okay. We're gonna keep on trucking. Okay, that's nothing. Oh, find another, uh, clue. Yeah, if, uh, playing Resident Evil games has taught me anything, it's look in every nook and cranny. You'll never know when you'll find something weird. Ah, yeah, see, there, there's my old nemesis right there. This place is obviously not wheelchair accessible. That is not very cool. Guys, if you're going to have a public place, make sure it's wheelchair accessible. It's disrespectful as hell not to have, you know, ramps at your establishments. Especially if they're restaurants. Alright, uh. We're looking for a stick of deodorant. Uh, 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 a can of deodorant. I stand corrected. Sorry. Really? Really, dude? Fucking really? I mean, whatever, bro, do you, but, uh, kind of lame. Let me go back and check that room, make sure I didn't miss anything. There's nothing over there. Alright, we're good. Moving on. There was some glass that just broke. I heard. Did you guys hear that? Are you kidding me? TV doesn't work. That is unfortunate. What the hell are you guys gonna do? I know how you youngsters are when it comes to your TV and your Xbox and your PS4 and. For the life of me, I can't understand why you people don't just go outside. I mean, I, I don't mean me specifically. Like, I mean, I, I can't really do much outside being a paraplegic and all, but what's your excuse? You know, I'm broken from the waist down. Why don't you get your ass out there to go jog or something? You have legs that work perfectly fine. 
You, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? You're not! But, uh, yeah, anyway. Get outside, enjoy some fresh air. Life's too short to be cooped up in the house all the time. Only oh, irony of that statement, considering, you know. Why can't I walk? Seriously, guys. What did I do to deserve that? Nothing, I tell you. I've been a wonderful cop, wonderful husband, but yet I can't walk. It's real unfortunate. There's a lot of fucking steps. I don't appreciate the steps. What are you? There was a light over there. Now, of course, the door's locked. Why does that not surprise me? Is that another picture? I feel like we saw that one already. Nope, that's a new one. All right. Cool. All right, uh... I still have no idea what the hell we're looking... Oh, yeah, right, right. We're looking for that, uh... The can of, uh... Deodorant. Question, though. If this Josh guy owns this house, right? And, uh... He, uh... You know... Had some deodorant in here already. Why the fuck doesn't he have the key? And for that matter, why'd he lock himself out? Seems like a bonehead and... Uh, Almost on purpose type of move, don't you think? Like, what are you trying to accomplish, sir? Are you... Do you have some sort of ulterior motive? What are you trying to prove? Told you that guy doesn't... He just rubs me the wrong way. Something doesn't add up. Okay, uh... Not sure... Where the hell I am supposed to go? Are you locked? Of course you are. Because nothing's ever fucking easy in these games. Uh, let's see here. What's in this room? Now, for what reason could I not light the candles? What new message? New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case. Okay, that sounds like ja uh, the Josh fella. I'm not stupid. That's what that sounds like. That's that Josh fella's voice. Claiming to be a guy named Mr. Tate. See, that's identity theft. And can then you winding up in the slammer? That won't hesitate to throw your ass in there. There's a lot of health and safety violations going on here as well. Not too keen on the old idea of it. I still have no idea where the hell I'm going. I am literally just wandering around in the dark. Guess it's like a Scooby-Doo mystery or something. We're just kind of looking for clues. Clues to what? I don't know yet, but... Sure, we'll find out eventually. Yeah... I am not sure what... Is that a wall? Why can't it... Okay, I can't bypass that. All right. Going down here. What? What? What's? What's that? Where are you? Nothing. You're just a lamp. Okay. Could have sworn I saw an object. Just taking a little trip around the entire premises, checking it out. Doing a little bit of a steak out. You know, steaks are really freaking delicious. I like a T-bone and porterhouse. You know what, I may, uh, go, uh, have a barbecue, uh, this weekend. That, there was a beeping sound just now. That means somebody needs to change their, uh, their, what's it called? Their, uh, what the devil are those things called? Your, uh, smoke detector. Yeah, that's it. 
smoke detector needs to be changed, which is also a health and safety violation. Well, not an arrestable offense. It is not the greatest idea not to have that. Okay, that door is not accessible. That's unfortunate. Uh, can we go in here? Okay, we can. I hear a bumping noise. I'm not too happy about that. What the fuck is that noise? Where it's coming from over over here? Hey, yeah, it's getting louder. I'm very not okay with this. Okay, there's another door. I can't get to it. Damn it! Well, we tried. All right. All I gotta say is, typical white people going in to investigate crime scenes and stuff. If there's a loud noise in a dark room, you probably shouldn't go check it out. Oh, well, there's the deodorant. See, yeah, told ya. See, that, that's why you shouldn't do these types of things. And it was awful quiet for a while, so I was kind of expecting a jump scare. And there we go. We got it. You'll be alright. Why would you make the stupid mistake of touching the doorknob after you just torched it with fire? Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or tiger or something. That was clearly a honey badger. Or a wolverine. Could have been a wolverine. I don't know. Isn't that what wolverines are? Honey badgers? I have no idea. I don't, I'm not... I, I don't know much about nature. As I mentioned, I'm a paraplegic, so I don't spend much time outside. Body usually doesn't help the window either, so... It's not much sunlight that gets in here. Bale is a ghost. It's honestly rather concerned... Uh, con Ah, uh, the fuck, I can't talk. It's really concerning. I need, uh... I really need help. Make yourself at home, bro. It'll do. Okay, so, uh, it's... Take a load off. This Matt fellow is, uh... The token black guy, and he, he's going to be holding your grudge here. Oh damn. Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Right. Uh, yeah. Right. What's going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You done? Yeah, you sit right back down there, fella. Oh, hey, it's Queen oh Bitch. God, that is so gross. What's gross? Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you? You know, the only reason that Emily would have had any reason to say anything about that is if she was, in fact, jealous. Because otherwise, why would you give a fuck? You get what I mean? Just, it just for what reason would you would you even care? Oh, damn. No, you're a bitch. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your You know, school it don't mean jack shit, honestly. They don't teach you anything about the way the world works. Like, what was the last time in school that they taught you how to file your taxes or fill out a fucking job application? Appl uh, application! God, I can't talk today! But, uh, they, uh... They don't teach you these types of things in school, and they really should, but no, instead you're- Oh, apparently I got an update for Overwatch. Okay, then. 
is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. What'd you want? You never did make that clear. Then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Place without that whore. Ah, sick bird, bro. So, why exactly are you with this Emily chick? Sure, she's she's Asian and all, and she's pretty cute, but her uh, attitude does not match. You know, pretty face, but the chase ain't worth the prize. You, you catch my drift? That's exactly what she has going on. All I can think is maybe the sex with her is probably great. But other than that, I don't really see the appeal. You know, angry sex is wonderful. Me and Bonnie have it all the time. Oh, we Bonnie. Yeah, we do. We do. All the time. She may deny it, but uh, it happens. Things get hot, heavy, and uh, amazing in here. Giggity. Okay. You know, I've asked this before, but are other people allowed to say giggity? There's never been any established rules on who's allowed to say giggity and who's allowed not to say giggity. Also, Miss Hated Bandit here says she's going upstairs to get naked. Take a bath. Giggity. No, oh, they're going to be sexiled. They're going to have sex. That's a... Does that deserve another giggity? I feel like that needs another giggity. Is the coziest, giggity. The most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. Giggity. If we ever make it. Oh. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Giggity. Your cousin and maybe you will get lucky. Giggity. Porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see it. Uh, gross. Yeah, giggity. Sorry. Giggity. Mm -hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. I've got to fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. Okay. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Yeah. All right, I guess we're following her. I have no idea where I'm going. As per the usual. That's kind of just how I live my life. I just kind of walk around and... Well, not walk. It, I wheel around and... I just kind of go where the wind blows. And if I wind up in, like... A nursing home or something, then that's just where I am spending my day. Is this really the time to be taking selfies? There you go. Uh, good effort. Next time I get the camera, okay? Okay. Well, okay, but it's not easy holding the thing all like backwards and forwards at the same time. <laughs> okay, let's go. I've got cabin fever. Is that a giggity? I feel like that's a giggity. There's a lot of giggities going on. Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you going to do that? That de deserves another. Oh, that's two giggities. Giggity, giggity. You know, there's got to be uh, sort of a giggity counter going on after, uh, you know, for this episode. Starting now, we're going to have a giggity counter. Ah, that would be funny. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. Suck it. Ah. All right. Head on over here. But you want to bet it's locked. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh 
say there was a generator? Yeah, but he didn't tell us where it was. He's kind of a douche like that. All right. Looking for this generator. Up, oh, up. Oh, there was a thing. What are you? I wish you could generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Oh, damn. Why are women so impatient? Just holy shit. All right. Let's see. Boom. There you go. Nice one, Mikey. Yeah, I did it. Oh, shit. There's a guy following and watching us. That can't be good. Come on. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. All right, then. What song is that? You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. What are they talking about? Hey. Oh, yeah, you get it. Giggity. Police day. Hannah and Beth. They think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. That's unfortunate. Well, whoever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Just be supportive. We haven't had a jump scare in a minute. Kind of expecting another one. And there it is. Um, did you hear that? I heard something. It was a lady screaming. Something you don't typically hear at my house. I mean, you do hear uh, Lois screaming from across the street a lot. But that's usually because Peter's done something stupid. Oh shit. Jess! Well fuck. fuck. Hey Jessica! Yes. Hey. Um, okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, <laughs> you didn't hit your head or anything. Yeah, are you okay? I still have all seven of my limbs. Wait, uh, seven? Yeah. Did you get out? I, I don't know. Let's see. I can Leg, see arm, head. It's four. No, five. Yeah, I said five. What are the other two? There's another dude. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? There you go. Come on. Move that thing. Giggity! Giggity! Uh. Oh, what the hell? Ah. Oh, fuck! Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh. 
I did not see that coming. I could have sworn I pressed the button. I feel like somebody pushed that towards us on purpose. Giggity. Giggity! Oh. So no giggity. Subtract the giggity. Giggity. Another totem pole. Fortune totem. What? I didn't see anything. All right. My old nemesis, you frickin' stairs. I hate stairs. Why are these places not wheelchair accessible? I know I've asked that before, and I'll continue to ask it every time. Uh, come on, dude. You all right? Yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I don't think we'll make it. Time to go. All right. Stuff over here. What are? Oh, that's a map. Looks like he's a real fixer-upper. Move the fuck out of the way, Jess. Jeez. All right. Keep going. Keep going. I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Do you? Well, there's a little bit of light there. Oh. Bitch, you are really in the way. I can't get through. You know what? This is as good a place as any to cut it for today. Uh, I really need to go empty my poop sack. Been uh, holding the poo in there for a couple hours now and it's starting to smell. So I need to go tend to that. But uh, anyway, this has been Officer Joe Swanson, and as always, we do this for the sexual thrill. The sexual thrill! Hey, how you doing? Did you like this video? Then how about subscribing to the channel? Leave a like and comment as well if you don't mind. Also, check out my previous videos. They're pretty good. I'm just blooper saying! But until next time, guys, this has been Goku! Come at me!